Hello all and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before I get started, I'm going to say our blessings. Blessed art thou, Adonai Eloheinu, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and commanded us to gross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Adonai Eloheinu, sweeten the words of your Torah in our mouths and in the mouths of all your people, Israel. May we and your offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people, Israel. Blessed are you, Adonai Eloheinu, King of the universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed you, Adonai, giver of the Torah. May Adonai bless you and keep watch over you. May Adonai make his presence to enlighten you. May be kind to you. May Adonai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. Today's read is Revelation 16, 1 through 21. Then I heard a loud voice from the temple telling the seven angels, Go and pour out on the earth the seven bowls of wrath of Elohim. So the first angel went and poured out his bowl on the earth, and harmful and painful sores came upon the people who bore the mark of the beast and worshipped its image. The second angel poured out his bowl into the sea, and it became like blood of a corpse, and every living thing died that was in the sea. The third angel poured out his bowl into the rivers and springs, and they became blood. And I heard the angel in charge of water say, Just are you, O Holy One, who is and was, for you have brought these judgments, for they have shed the blood of saints and prophets, and you have given them blood to drink. It is what they deserve. And I heard the altar saying, Yes, Lord Elohim, the Almighty, just and true are your judgments. The fourth angel poured out his bowl on the sun, and it was allowed to scorch people with fire. They were scorched by fire, by fierce heat, and they cursed the name of Elohim, who had power over these plagues. They did not repent and give him glory. The fifth angel poured out his bowl on the throne of the beast, and his kingdom was plunged into darkness. People gnawed their to tongues in anguish, and cursed Elohim of heaven for their pain and sores. They did not repent of their deeds. The sixth angel poured out his bowl on the great river Euphrates, and its water was dried up. To prepare for a way for kings from east. And I saw coming out of the mouth of the dragon, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet, three unclean spirits like frogs, for they are demonic spirits, performing signs, who go abroad to the kingdoms of the whole world to assemble them for battle on the great day of Elohim the Almighty. Behold, I am coming like a thief. Blessed is the one who stays awake, keeping his garments on, that he may not go about naked or be seen exposed. And they assemble them at a place that is in he that in Hebrew is called Armageddon. The seventh angel poured out his bowl into the air, and a loud voice came from the temple saying, from the throne saying, It is done. And there were flashes of lightning and rumblings, pearls of thunder, and a great earthquake, such as there had never been seen since man was on the earth. So great was the earthquake. The great cities was split into three parts. The city of the nations fell, and Elohim remembered Babylon the great to make her drain the cup of wine of the fury of his wrath. And every island fled away, and there was no mountains to be found. And great hailstones, and about 100 pounds each, fell from heaven on people. And they crushed, they cursed <laughs> Elohim for the plague of the hail, because plague was so severe. Blessed art thou, Adonai Elohim, you king of the universe, who gave us the Torah of truth and set everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Adonai, giver of the Torah, Brukata Adonai Elohim, you Malaka Lo, Masha Natal, and Utredi, Met Baishi, Elohim, Natal, Betekin, you Brukata Adonai, Natina Torah.